In this video we are going to go over how to install Isograph version 6 Workbench on a Windows 10 64-bit platform. First step is to go to where you've downloaded the Isograph installation files. In my case, in the downloads folder, I've got a zip file with all the installation files. I will extract these files. Once all the files have extracted, I can go into the folder and click on the setup program. Depending on your Windows security, you will get this pop-up to say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. For language, select English. Click next. Accept the license agreement. And leave all the components as they are by default. I'm going to choose to install it in the default installation path. Depending on your computer, you may or may not have this problem. If you do have this problem, just follow the instructions as they are written in this pop-up box. I will push the start button on the keyboard and start typing turn windows features on and off. Then select .NET Framework 3.5 and click OK. Once that installs, you can click Close. And because previously the installation had failed, we're going to have to click OK and cancel the installation and restart it. I will go back to the Extractor folder. Again, click on the Setup program. And I will just select all the same options as I had previously done. Allow it to make changes. Choose English language. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Leave the components option and leave the default installation path. Next, we're going to install the OPC core component. Agree to the license agreement. Leave the default path and click next. Once that is done, Click close and the installation will continue. Next we're going to install Microsoft Visual C++. So click next, accept the license terms and then click finish once that is done. Lastly we're going to install Visual Studio 2013. So click yes. Once that is done, click close. The installation will continue. And that's it, it's complete. Click on the Run Isograph 6.5 box and it's finished. It will start up Isograph and we're done. This concludes this installation video. Please watch the rest of the videos where we will cover topics like starting a new program and importing version 3 Workbench programs into the version 6 workbench. Thank you.